Hi YouTube, sorry I haven't been recording much videos for a long while. But anyway, here's my uh, next Revit tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be adding windows to the model. So, let's get started. First open our uh, self elevation. Alright, so now I'm going to add two windows here on the first floor. To do that, just go to home, window, uh, I'm going to load it in a window. Now, since I'm using metric, it's open the metric folder. But if you're using imperial, just go to imperial. Uh, window, m underscore casement, three times three of trim, this one. Okay, open it, and just place it roughly around this area here. Okay. Hit modify, get rid of the window. Alright, let's have a look at this on the first floor. Okay, now you see how we have one window missing. Can't see it. It's still there though, but we can't see it. That's because of, um, well, the window's above the current view range for the plan. So we have to modify that view range to include the window. To do this, just in the drawing, just click anywhere. We'll get the properties. Scroll down to extends. For view range, click edit. And let's just change the offsets. Uh, 2160 mils. Okay. And there, window is loaded. Okay, now let's get these windows into place. So just touch, click one and just drag it a bit. We'll get these numbers. Let's make it 200 from the uh, east wall. And this one, just click it. Um, 2,775. Okay. Alright, now open our south elevation. And we can see our windows here. Now, I want to get the windows to be square. Now, to do that, all we have to do is uh, just click the window. Now, uh, edit type. Duplicate. And for the name, uh, 0915 times 0915. And click OK. For the height, just change it to 915. OK. And change it to square. Do the same thing for the other one. This one's to be slightly easier because we already made the type. Yeah. OK. Now you see the uh, the windows are not actually they're in different heights really. All we want to do is align it to the top of the uh, wall, so we can use the align tool for that. And that would be not that one, no. One of these I can't remember. This one, and we just click the top, and click, oops. Now you always click the one you want to keep still first. Then you click the on and just do the same thing. Okay. We got the uh, windows perfectly aligned now. Okay, now open O2. We're going to do the windows on the second floor. Zoom up to the west wall and um, just click anywhere here. Now, properties under graphics underlay, make sure this is none. And so we'll get you this clean, just just the second floor. That's what we're working on. Okay. Now under view, click uh, fin lines to activate fin lines. Okay. Go back to home. Now uh, I'm going to add three windows here on the west wall. So to let's just click window again. Now for window type, just click there and change it to 915 times 1830 mils. Okay, now with uh, three windows down, just along this wall here. Okay. Okay, so we want to get these walls equally spaced apart between these two walls. I mean, sorry, these windows equally spaced apart between these two walls. To do that, 
go to annotate and then hit align ah uh, bugger uh, do not save go away okay annotate align middle of the wall middle of the window move it out again again and again now if you're lucky you should be able to see like an EQ sign when you click all of these dimensions I don't I don't know why maybe someone can help me in the comments but I honestly don't know why I've been googling for ages can't find out so what I'm going to do is open a calculator and what the EQ sign does is it makes all these values equal so it'll be equally spaced out but I don't have that for some reason so I'm just using a calculator plus all the numbers together you shouldn't really do this practically it's not you know proper way of doing it I don't recommend doing this calculator way alright just make all the values this 1250.75 Let's copy that, save some time. Okay, that's all. Hmm, some strange reason I'm missing three millimeters, but oh well. Not big deal. Okay, so now that we got them fairly spaced out, we just go ahead and delete these. Don't need them anymore. Okay, now let's have a look at the model. Now with the uh, windows in, so 3D view. There's our two windows there. So look at the other ones. And we can see our nicely spaced out three windows right here in this room. Well that's the end of this tutorial hope you learned something and just a reminder the way I align these isn't the proper way don't really do it. Okay, see ya.